It's Friday. Happy Friday. It's the weekend. Good morning. Ready to love season four or five. Episode six, I think it is, comes on tonight. And girl, I just cannot believe what Sean said in the previews. I just, I'm like, you know, I... Did you see the previews for tonight, girl? When when they're meeting each each other's family. First of all, I think it's too soon to be meeting the family. They don't know each other good enough yet to meet the families. But anyways, they're going to be meeting the families tonight. And, and they're being asked that father provider and all this stuff. And I, I just almost, I just, I had to replay it again because my mouth hit the floor because I just could not believe what the man says. I want to thank you for your love and your, and your support. It was a surprise. Thank you for those comments on my Murder at First Sight video. Yes, honey, I know the Picnish and the Dust Bunnies are in the comment section screaming and crying and scratching. And, ah! and I'm like, obviously, they didn't watch the whole season of Murder at First Sight and you didn't watch my review. You know, I'm going to start banning people from review making comments, okay? Because if you didn't watch the whole season, please don't come over here at the end of the season yelling and screaming and crying in my comments. If you watch this season, I told you, I told you Merla was playing Gil. Anyways, let me just say thank you. Thank you. I just thank you. Anyway, I get so excited. You know, this stuff just get me hot. Thank you for your love. I thank you. Uh, for those of you who picked up my books, thank you. Um, next week is Thanksgiving. For those of you who celebrate Thanksgiving, uh, my books, some of my books are gonna be my books are gonna be going on sale. T-shirts are linked below. Somebody was asking for the t-shirt, the made to be adored t-shirt. It is linked be below. The um audio version of 10 Years a Girlfriend is on is available. I cannot put that on sale. If you ask, can you put this on sale? I cannot because they're the one that set the price. Okay. It's like you give them your product and then they give the price. So I can't put that on sale. I can put the paperback on sale and they will be on sale this next week. So thank you for that. Thank you for those comments. Ready to Love comes on um, tonight. Uh, will I be watching live? Probably not. NaNoWriMo update. I did not meet my mark that I wanted to meet yesterday, but I will come back tonight and give you an update. I clocked in last at about 37,100 words, and my goal was to get to about 38 thousand yesterday so I can do 2,000 today and get to 40. So I'm going to make an effort to, to when I come home to, later today to just get those 2,000, 3,000 words, 3,000 words to get to um, 37. I wanted to take like a little mini break um, over the weekend so I could just hit that conclusion next week, but you know, I'm behind. So I'm not going to be able to take a break. Yesterday, I didn't get as much. I was so exhausted because, you know, I was up with y'all talking until one o'clock in the morning. And then I had to do blood work on a fast. Girl, I feel like they drained all my blood out of me. I was sleeping all day yesterday. I was so tired. But anyways, um, we'll see. That's another reason why I didn't get my numbers yesterday. But I'm going to try to get it today, tomorrow, so I can get that 40000 and maybe take a break. All right. For those of you who's mad at, I'm I'm doing ten videos in one. My married at first sight. Okay, obviously you didn't watch the, the the my my reviews. A lot of you are in your feelings and your emotions, and this is why women continue to choose men like Gil because he's decent looking. He's a nice guy. The man verbally abused Merla all season, and yet you are making excuses that he did not verbally abuse you, which tells me that's what you're used to. You're used to men down talking to you. You're not used to men adoring you and praising you. As the Bible says in Proverbs 31, her husband rise and praise her. That's your used to Gil. Gil is the typical dude out here that's dating that wants to be praised and worshiped because he's tall, uh, uh, tall, dark, and he's decent looking. As for his money, he is a broke dusty. Now, hello, Dr. Viviana right here. Don't argue with me. Dr. Viviana says, no, he makes a lot less than Merla and how petty he is. I, I bring, oh, I make, uh, whatever he said, bring home $100 more every two weeks. 
Who the hell sit down and calculate $100? Marla looked at him like, please. Okay, and thank you for Rachel. Shout out to Rachel. She said, you know, with, with the COVID, they're probably doing extra work or overtime. Baby, you can't calculate overtime and extra time in your income. Your base income as a new firefighter trainee is $28,000 a year. And if you were financially stable, Sister Marla would not want, Sister Marla would probably try to work it out. You also told your mama that she made more or less more than you. She made double you. She's high class. She want the best, the good life. Yet you showed up in a pimplish suit and some red bottoms. That problem, Sister Merla was probably heaping coals of fire on your head and buying them for you so you can look like a clown. Okay, shout out to Sister Merla. Sister Merla represented and dropped the dusty. I told y'all all season, I said, Merla's playing. There is no way Merla thought she could stay with him. She's too smart for that. She's calculated. And even the Dusty said she made a 180 turn. And after this situation with the whole money situation right here, I really think Merla was probably thinking about it until she saw he's broke, Dusty, ain't got no money, no savings. And right here, if you go back and watch the season, this is where Merla be turned a 180 and she started to play. Because right here she says, you don't have any savings. But you're sitting down calculating, calculating, you bring home a hundred dollars. What that hundred dollars? Do you know how much a, a can a baby formula is? $22. And don't let the baby be very sensitive. You know, mamas, those of you who have the sensitive baby stomach, $30 a can. I am, my baby is going to be seven in January. And I'm still upset that I did not charge my husband for baby formula because I nursed my little boy exclusively for one year. Do you know how much money I saved my husband? So this Dusty talk about, he want to have eight kids. I right now have a hundred. And see, that's what I was talking about. He's upset about her money. He's upset about how established she is and how unestablished and unaccomplished he is for him to sit down and calculate a hundred dollars more. When Dr. Vivian already told us you made a whole, whole, whole lot less more. And fake Pastor Cal said, oh, what you may like in finances, you make up in nobility as if you can pay nobility for the, for, to, to pay the bills. Huh? As if what you lack in finances, you can't play up in nobility. You can't make that up in the, you can't pay no bills with nobility. I'm sure Merla paid money to buy those red bottoms that, that, that he had on his feet. Going on over to Ready to Love. Ready to love, they are meeting each other's family. I don't think it's time for them to meet the family. But anyways, uh, Phil is meeting Aisha's family and they ask him, are you ready to be a stepdad? And he was looking at them and he, in his comment, he said, they're not trying to make me be great. My, my, my comments. Okay. And so they're meeting each other and I just don't think, and then another thing I saw a clip of, of Moo Man introducing Dante with the three baby mamas to her family. Moo Man, please girl, please, you know, you, you, you single, does she, somebody said she has a son. She has a child. You girl, you don't want no man with no three kids and three baby mamas. You ain't, ain't no money coming in that house, honey. All that money is going to child support. Anyways, the one I want to talk about is Sean. Sean is meeting uh, Sabrina's family. I love Sabrina. She's absolutely beautiful. She dresses her age. She's sexy. She dresses sexy. And, and she's not dressing like a thought. And this is what I'm talking about. I'm glad Sabrina came on because for those of us that's in our 40s, this she's a perfect example of showing us how we can dress classy yet sexy and not trashy like some of the other ladies that's been on. I love Sabrina. I do not think her husband is there. And so Sabrina is me is introducing uh, Sean to her family. And the sister asks, are you prepared to be a provider? Walk around the chair. Walk around the chair. Is you prepared to be a provider? You know what that says to me? Being a provider is you something you have to prepare it with. The man said, I'm good enough to take, take care of a bill 
or two. A bill or two. So in other words, Sean is looking for a sponsor. Okay? Because let's talk about primary bills. Primary bills is rent, right? In Jersey, if you live in a private house, you have to pay your own heat. But if you live in an apartment building, you heat and hot water is included, which is why I stayed in apartment buildings my whole time until I got married. Those foolish other girls was written private house and couldn't pay the heat. Their heat would be cut off. Okay, you got to calculate. And so I stayed in a one bedroom apartment where I was right over the heat. It was like, you know, it's like, you know what they call ghetto heat. Ooh, child was ghetto heat. My windows stayed open all winter, okay? And so you heat and hot water is included. So let's just assume because this is the Northeast that heat and hot water is included in the rent. So rent, heat, and hot water. You still have to pay your lights, right? You have to pay food. Cable is not a necessity, but people buy cable, okay? You have to have a phone. There's no more house phone. People don't use house phone except Lex. This is Sister Lexi. <laughs> Lexi be on. She got her cell phone and the house phone. Okay? Probably have a car and car insurance. And you still need to buy clothes. Granted, you don't buy clothes every day. So I'm trying to figure out, Sean, you talk about you're ready for love, but you can only take care of a bill. So which bill you go take care of? The cable bill? The water bill? You know, and you know what? This is, and these, the, these, this is why these men are like that. The same way y'all in my comments, some of y'all coddling uh, Gil about, oh, poor Gil. And, oh, uh, uh. this is why they get this age and they are still like that because they were coddled their whole life. You come on national TV, talk about you're ready for love, but you can only take care of them. And these are the same main ladies who want you to respect them, want to be the head of your house, want you to honor them, and, and want you to submit to them. But you can't even put a roof over my head. Make it make sense to me, ladies. But you know what? I feel sorry for some of y'all because you ladies, some of y'all, are the one that caused these men to be like this. Talk about he can pay a bill or two. In what universe, as a grown man, do you pay a bill or two? So how are you taking care of yourself now, Sean? I want to know. You're living with your mom, mom. You're living with somebody. Because if you're living by yourself, you have to pay all your bills. So who are you living with, brother? I just want to know. I just, and this, in this age of time, I'm just saying, ladies, you can do whatever you want to do, but I'm just saying, Janice can't be submitting to no man, honoring no man, and respecting no man who can't put a roof over my head and food on my table. Honey, if you can't do that, don't, I don't, uh -uh, I am not the one. Okay, you I uh -uh, head of who? How you going to be my head and you can't put a roof over my head? I don't think so. The devil is a whole lot. But anyways, girl, I got to go. Let me know what you think. Are you going to be watching? Oh, also, also, to see her, to see her, to see her, to see her. At the, when the ladies meet with nephew Tommy, to see her said people need to start shrinking. Zadia speak, spoke up and said, who needs to start shrinking? I have my top two. Now, to see her, she needs to shut her mouth up because she's in the bottom all the time. And I think she might be going home next week because, you know, she's been in the bottom a couple of times. And then it seemed like to see you want Zadia to start shrinking. She's like, I got my top two. And I'm saying in my head, well, who's to see a top two, three, five, six, three, nine, ten. So then to see you said in her voice over, don't be talking, don't be talking at me across the table. And I'm shaking my head like to see a girl. No, you don't need to do that because you've been in the bottom like 10 times. You've been in the bottom. So if she's saying she wants people to start shrinking, then that means she don't got nobody because all the other ladies are secure. Now, in reference to Courtney being sent home, I was so surprised <clears throat> Courtney was sent home. She was not on my radar to go home because I just knew, I just knew, I just knew Camille was going to go home. But she didn't go home because Cornelia said she is the number one. 
And so I was surprised. And I watched, I rewatched just now before I came down. At the end, Courtney was just so soft and emotional. And I'm like, that's who you should have shown the couple of episodes you were on. She was being all mannish and masculine. How you feel like being with the boss? Okay. And I'm like, girl, don't nobody want no man. The man that's looking for a wife, they don't want another man. They want somebody who's soft and feminine and playful. But no, she was being up there, being all masculine and stuff. But anyways, let me know what you think what's coming on tonight. Are you going to be watching? What do you think about men talking about they can pay a bill or two? I love you. I adore you. I have to run. Uh, I'm going to try to come back and give you an update tonight on NaNoWriMo. I cannot wait to let, talk to you about my conclusion it is so good. It is so good. Let me tell you, my conclusion is so good in my head that I'm really thinking about putting it in the front of the book. That's how good it is. I love you. I have to go. Bye. Remember my books. And thank you for those of you who showed me love this week uh, with my books and my cash app. Thank you. I appreciate everything you do for me. I love you. I adore you. Talk to you later. Bye.